Hello guys, it's Alvin from Alfie Gaming and welcome to this epic episode of Star Control. Today, we just love Mars. Yeah, we truly are supposed to live there. Okay, we're leaving this time with the Alphonium. I believe we're heading to Jupiter. And it's time to scavenge lots of planets without getting killed by the green, very cute aliens. Oh, four moons look to land on. Actually, Jupiter has over 63 moons or so. I don't know, actually. Now, let's see. Scan. Weather class 8. Atmosphere super thick. Gravity is a lot. I, I can... There's absolutely nothing here. Wait, that's dumb. It's a gas giant. I can't land there. So let's just say that this is not my. Ah, oh, looks so full of metal. Is that low or EO? <laughs> That's a very low amount of gravity, meaning that it's, it's uh, pretty cheap to land here. It will cost less fuel. But it has class 4 tectonics. If you don't know what it means, it means it all, that there are pretty much a lot of earthquakes here. Now let's scan the area. Wow. There are radioactive elements. Those are worth a lot. No life, of course. It will be a bit extreme. Let's go save our game. So guys, let's just save our game. Let's get into it. So I think we'll land over here. No. Alpha don't die. You know what to do. Okay, we're grabbing all the stuff we need. Well, watch out, Alfin. Alpha, you can. Yeah, I did that. <gasps> I'm uh, one of those safe addicts, so I'm going to save the game again. You know what? I'm just going to skip all the saves because I'm a safe addict. I save my game every 30 seconds or so. So, yeah. Captain Alpha, this is a good plan! Well, I believe so. Just get you and your crew back there. But I don't want to go back. It is dangerous. Oh no, we lost contact with Alphodia. We gotta be fast. Come on. Ugh, here. Earthquakes everywhere. Ah, I got it. Oh no, oh no. Sir, we were hit. We lost five men. Oh no. Let's get out of here. Ah, Captain, how is it going? Sir, we lost five crew members. Johnson, Kowalski, Valenskov. And, and, ah, oh, no, Captain, I understand. I'll just send the other crew down. Ah, oh, we lost five men. Hopefully, not any more after this. Just get those last radioactive elements. You're gonna be rich after this. Who doesn't want that? Just take a bit of risk. And nice job, crew. You got it on. Navigate. Well, that was pretty successful. Let's head to the next planet. Oh, Europe. Hmm, red elements and radioactive elements. I guess I'll show you um cargo. Look, see that on the right? This is these are all the elements. So there are corrosive elements, which are worth two, and radioactive elements, which are worth worth eight. Well, I don't want to fill up the cargo instantly. So I think I'm gonna land. Um, tectonics class 2 that's the same as on earth and you don't have this lot earthquakes every second on earth so this is safe so radioactive elements astatine astatine lots of astatine well how do you even say that guys how do you even say that astatine Ast Oh, number four of bromine and estatine, estatine. Let's get going again. Not fully accurate. Wait, this, this, 
What happened to this planet? No, it's like black over here. That isn't right. This planet has like a border, like in Minecraft. But this isn't Minecraft. This is this is real life. Why is here a border? I am supposed to to fall off and die. Wait, no. Wait. The Earth is flat, right? So you can fall out. Wait, no. Uh. Uh. I'm confused now. I thought the Earth was flat. That you could fall off, but apparently not here. Ha! Huh, unbelievable. Wait. The Earth was a ball. It's actually a ball. It's a ball, just like the rope. It's a freaking ball. Just look to that ball of that size. It's a ball. Oh, I think you now know that Earth is a ball. If you ever thought that the Earth was flat, I understand you. I think it too. Wait, do I actually think that? Huh? Wait. This plant appeared green, but it isn't green. Ganymede. All sorts of blue common elements. Well, let's get going. It's safe anyway, so why not? It are just common elements. So this won't give us a lot of money. Actually, I don't think I'm going to get any more here. It's just not worth enough. No, it's not going to cost us fuel to land. And this is Callisto. This is like the ultimate planet! Just look! How many freaking minerals! Oh god, I love this game. I really love it. Let's just land. Well, let's say that the land crashed and that I needed to load my game, yeah. Uh, apparently, there was nothing on the planet. No, they are liars in Star Control. I know, it's extreme. No, just get me to, to Saturn, come on! They can do it in NASA, then they can do it here too! Saturn has only one freaking moon! Let's get to that one freaking moon! So this is it, Titan! Mm, uh, it's maybe worth it, but there's pretty much weather in here, so it's safe. And dispatch! No, dispatch, I'm only going to do one street because it's pretty dangerous. I mean this lightning, I hate lightning because it almost always hits you. Like earthquakes, you can dodge them, but lightning, it's just like, don't stay in the span too long or you will be hit. Ouch! Understand what I mean? We just lost crew member. Ha! Ah. Ha! Ah. Now let's land here again. Hopefully without any penalties. We already lost six crew members right now. Wait, what element is that? And that this was barium or so oh let's get going again one of our oh guys on the right do you see uh, that crew it says 44 crew right below it you see uh, two icons two gray icons but one is white so actually there are no two gray icons but each of them represents one of my cargo base i have two so one of them is already full so soon I'll have nothing left anymore for that. And here, Triton. Nice moon of Neptune. I'll scare this upward. Ta ta! Potassium. Titanium. Uranium. Potassium. Well, this aren't a lot of minerals at all. I actually wasted fuel coming here. Oh, I hate to waste fuel. Oh, save game. Oh, that wasn't successful at all, guys. I freaking wasted my fuel. Oh, that wasn't good at all. I just had to 
Pluto. Hi, Pluto. Pluto, Pluto. Lonely Pluto. At the moment, NASA is actually sending images of this because New Horizons has passed it. Let's see. Scan. Mineral scan. <gasps> Purple. That's exotic. That's a word of... Did you see that? Do you see the dot over there? And there, and the... Look, I'll... This is exotic, it's worth a lot, but look here! Energy! There is something down there! Oh, this is... This is... Oh no, safe game, safe game, safe game! Mm. Okay... I wonder what will happen. Crew, get down there! You have the element, it's an ice plant, I know. But... What is this thing? <gasps> Wait, that's a ship! It's a ship of the race they call the Spaffy. Total coward race, but they're funny. Oh, I guess I can't shoot away my stun blasters. This is meant to take samples of animals. But okay, here's nothing. <gasps> <gasps> we lost! We lost eight crew members! Mayday for our service! We have come under fire from an alien vessel we found hiding on the surface of Pluto. Captain, they killed Kowalski, Fritz, Chin, O'Donnell, Lu Luigi, and all three of the Lieberman triplets. We have returned fire, but our stunners can't penetrate the ship's whole armor. We are initiating emergency logic procedures. End of transmission. Oh no, what happened? Income transmission. Attention, a big, mean, hostile alien vessel hovering overhead in an obvious attack posture. This is Fatty Captain Swiffle. Well, hello? I know you are going to torture me, so let's just get this over with right now. The coordinates of my home world, Spatiwa, are 241.6. Is it giving me information? And the ultra secret Spatty Cipher, which is known only by me and several billion other Spatty, is Huffy Muffy Duffy. What? Sorry about that little mistake with your landing. No vehicle. mistake! I was uh, so startled when it approached my vessel in a threatening manner that uh, my automated defense systems fired on it when it got too close. I hope nobody got hurt. You killed eight crew members. I what ha do you know what you have done? But guys, he he thinks I'm going to torture him. So he's trying to give us information so that we will not torture him. So wait, um, I'll be back soon. I'm going to write all the data he just told me down on paper which is a uh, word yeah word so spotty whack ordinates and now spotty cipher is Muffy. Muffy. Goofy. Huffy. Muffy, Guffy! Huffy, Muffy, Guffy! Huffy, Muffy, Guffy! Huffy, Muffy, Guffy! That is so ultra secret, so. Okay, I have. I have that. Hmm, I think the last one. One thing that we can tell him means that we will attack him, but I want to talk for a while. I think he's too afraid to even attack us. Hi there, friend. We come in peace. I mean, you know how. Are you sure? Because your statement is often just a more polite way of saying, Attention, alien vessel! Identify yourself! <laughs> that was one of the other options we given. could say! I am of the Warship Star Runner. Based here in this planetary system as part of the powerful Earth Tower, the Star Force. Which our masters, the Earth One, established here to masters. make sure that the planes anything to you. Ah, but did you even see that, guys? Most ships say, Attention alien vessel, identify self or be destroyed. That was the other thing we could say. Remember? 
<laughs> Good that we didn't say that. No. Where are the Uqua now? Our masters don't really keep us very well informed about their goings on. So that all we know is that immediately after the subjugation of the last alliance race, the Yehat, I think, the Urquan hey. got their dreadnoughts and departed from the edge of the galaxy, commanding us to obey the slave laws or face their wrath when they returned. Oh no, fun. We only know bits and pieces of what happened to each race. For instance, when defeated, the Yahat joined the hierarchy as combat rose. Oh. If I win, chose to be slave shielded on a planet in the Bug Squirt Star System. Bug Squirt? Oh, that's not right. I forget its name. Anyway, where was I? Oh yes, we shall What? Be. They were utterly wiped out in a gigantic blaze of glory. Oh yeah, they shall fix the that uh like <laughs> samurai Japanese style and the uh, that birdies the uh, so you know the one he talked about too, Jihad, and those were are actually a kind of bird type and uh, very loyal to the queen. But now they joined the Yukwan, what? And the Siren are uh, uh, stuck a box 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 squirt. What did you say? And what do you mean with Blaze of Glory? What happened to the Shafixte? Samurai Japanese thingies. The Shafixte were half a feral, as you know, having been uplifted by the Yahat just a few decades before the start Yacht? of the war. Given That's their habit okay. of detonating <laughs> those suicidal so-called glory devices. Oh yeah, they can self-destruct. It was no particular surprise to me when, upon the arrival of the Orkman Primary Task Force at their homeworld, the Shafixte caused their sun to explode in a colossal Supernova, what? destroying the entire planetary system, and not incidentally, dozens of Urquan dreadnoughts. <laughs> okay, so the so the should fix the ship is the worst ship in this entire game, but they can self destruct and do huge damage, even to the Urquan dreadnought class battleships. What about yourself, Wifo? Me? You mean me, personally? You to ask. I was born a poor green in crafting, the youngest what? child of a family of 18,000 You have a huge family! My male parents had to work hard to support us very hard, but each of very them hard indeed. and I tried to help out to make ends meet. The female parent was kind and sweet to all of us. Why, she won't even call me by name! She said, A golden memory. Wow. I swear to God, it's a <laughs> of my species with my parents' assistance. Achieved independence. Specifically, they pried me from the door jam and rolled me into the street. Thus prepared, I set out to make my fortune. I had ah. great dreams in those days. Yes, great dreams. I knew that someday I would be vastly rich, wealthy enough to afford a large, well fortified mansion. Surrounding my mansion would be vast tracts of land through which I could slide at any time I wished. Ah. Of course, one can never be be too sure that there aren't monsters hiding just behind the next push. What? So I would plant trees to climb you, you are so paranoid. <laughs> intervals. And being a spotty of the world, I would know that some monsters climb trees, though often not well. So I would have my servants <laughs> place in each tree a basket of perfect stones. Not too heavy, not too light, just the right size for throwing at wow, monsters. Wow, so paranoid. Thinking about what color the stones would be painted, I what? No, or magenta. What? When a vegetable cart came careening down the street outside my house and it knocked me unconscious. No. When I awoke, fun. I was aboard the void ship Star Runner headed for Earth. Wow, fun! <laughs> I had been out of my head for quite some time after the accident and with the assistance of some kind of strangers had been relieved of my funds and convinced to join the Navy. Well, I have been unpleasantly employed for the last 25 Whoa. years. We thought it wasn't very fun. Oh, uh, guys, I've been recording for lunch time already. I'm going to continue this conversation with our guest, Captain Fuifo, in the next episode. Be sure to like this episode, thumbs up, and subscribe if you haven't. 
comment on this video and I'll see you in the next episode of Star Control the Forgotten but extremely fun game actually it's not forgotten because it's in the top 25 list of best case ever and it's very fun and very cool and blah blah see ya